I know you guys have already seen a bunch of videos about AMD's upcoming RX 9070 GPUs, but this video is going to be a little different from those. And after watching this, if you feel that it's not, then hey, leave a nasty comment and a dislike, okay? AMD in their announcement just said only one sentence about their upcoming RDNA 4 GPUs and all the informations that we are getting after the announcement are from rumors and leaks. And this is crazy because we are getting more information from unofficial leaks and rumors after the company had their biggest announcement in one of the biggest trade shows in the whole world. Yes, AMD has hinted that they are going to have a different special event just for these GPUs, which I'm going to talk about later in the video, so stick till the end. Now, AMD hasn't given us anything concrete, but some outlets like video cards got their hands on to some information about uh, Power Colors RX 9070 series. The 9070 XT has a game clock of 2.4 GHz and a boost clock up to 3 GHz. And the non-XT has a game clock of 2.1 GHz and a boost clock up to 2.5 GHz. Now, these are all silent BIOS. That means they are the reference spec and every single brand will add a little bit spice to their design. But both these GPUs are going to have Navi 48 chips inside them and both these GPUs have 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory with same memory speed, burst and bandwidth. The only difference between these two GPUs is how many cores they are going to have. The XT1 going to have a little bit more cores and the non-XT1 going to have a little bit less. Now let's talk about some performance numbers. In 3 Mark Speedway, the 9070 XT performs very similar to 7900 XTX in 1440p. And in Time Spy Extreme, the 9070 XT performs better than the 4080 Super but falls a little behind from 7900 XTX in 4K. Now these numbers are coming from a synthetic test which doesn't always really equates to real world performance. So let's talk about some real world performance. This is reported by WCCF Tech and was originally posted on Chephel forum. Now, right now, the post has been taken down, but the person who posted this does have some repertoire. The person is a moderator for Chephel and not only that, they are also a GPU reviewer for the forum, but still, Take it with a little grain of salt. 9070 XT was tested in two games, Black Myth Wukong and Cyberpunk 2077. In Wukong, the 9070 XT performs a very similar to 4080 Super in 1080p, 1440p and 4K. It's neck and neck, just few frames difference. But in Cyberpunk, with ray tracing and in native resolution, the 9070 XT performs similar to a 4070 Ti Super. And these numbers goes in line with what we have heard before that the top end RDNA 4 will perform very similar to 4080 Super when it comes to rasterization and in ray tracing, the performance will be similar to a 4070 Ti Super. Now here's the thing. In an interview with PC World, one AMD rep has said that all the numbers that we have seen before CES are not true. The RDNA 4 will perform much better than that. But the numbers I showed you are the numbers after CES. And I don't see any significant change. And AMD has a habit of overhyping their products. So take that how you want to take it. But even if the performance is what it is getting advertised right now, if AMD priced these GPUs right, they can get an upper hand over Nvidia. Now the rumor is the reference design will be priced around $480 and the AIB design will be priced up to $550. But the thing is getting a reference design card from AMD is a little bit harder. But there will be a lot of AIB designs which will use essentially the same reference board with different types of cooler slapped on top. If most AIB cards are priced over $500, then there can be a problem. Because for an average gamer, the preconception is that Nvidia is better than AMD. And don't get me wrong here, in some scenarios, it is. And this time, the names are also similar. Both companies have a GPU with same moniker at the end. 5070 and 97. For an average gamer, if the 5070 is just 20 to 30 dollars more than AMD or even at the same price, 
they might choose the 5070 although the performance might not be similar the 9070 can be better or the 5070 can be better in some other area now because both gpus aren't out yet making these assumptions are nothing short of oxymoronic but what i am trying to say here is that amd needs that most of 9070 xt's designs stays under 500 dollars let me give you an example let's say we have a product that is priced at 479 dollars and another one which is priced at 510 dollars now it will seem that the 479 dollar product is in a different tier and also a lot cheaper but essentially they are not this is just basic human psyche but when these gpus will hit the store selves well, most rumors are indicating that AMD will hold an announcement at 22nd of this month and you will be able to pre-order these GPUs from 24th. And there are various different storefronts that has already started showing these GPUs. But when will these GPUs start shipping? Well, for that, we have to wait for AMD. But you know what you don't have to wait for? subscribing my channel because it's free and you can do it right now so if you like the video hit the like button feel free to subscribe and if you didn't like it as i promised leave a nasty comment and a dislike and if you want to watch more videos from us well check out this video right here and if you want to subscribe well do it right here and this is akash i will see you guys in the next one peace